I'm gonna put some windows in today and you can see these are old, they're out of a 2002 and they just like sandwich into place and the doors are different. So here, here's that donor and you can see it's just foam, it's just weather stripping. Uh, and then this is thin, right? And so I think this is what the guys are talking about. Well, I don't know, because all I read about is cutting it at the pinch weld, cutting it at the pinch weld, which is double thick. Well, this is kind of a pinch weld here where it's double thick, so I don't know if people were cutting theirs way down there or what. There's really not a lot of info. But then on mine, it's 06. And you can see, right? So it's more clearly double layer, and I think you just run right along this for the cutout, but I'm going to measure it to be sure. Actually, I could just hang that frame up. Oh, I got my panels in. So I got to pull, pan I'll have to pull that panel off to get to the window anyway, because these aren't the original doors from this either. These could be from who knows what year. So, uh, yeah, I want to get that panel off and see what that one looks like, since I got to cut it out anyway. Yeah, this is, it's different here. This is like the... Oh, two, right? So it's got these little pinches. Everybody's like, oh, caught at the pinch, caught at the pinch world. Uh, I think we don't, I think we end up cutting up here at this lip. And then we got a little structural thing here. This is probably why people get confused and they're like, oh, you can't put windows in because the, the not strong enough and then they break. <laughs> no. This gets cut out of the factory too. I'm sure that. Um, yeah, so. I'm going to do the rears first. We know this one will pinch nicely. Those might not, but I don't care. If they don't work out, they don't work out. But I definitely want to figure out... Um, I can use the aluminum rings as a template, I think. Let me try that just to be sure. Because like this one, I want to cut from the outside so most of the sparks stay outside. And I'll just throw like something down on the floor here to catch them. So here's that ring. I think it's not great. And it sits... Just like this, the window goes up against it, and then this edge is what pinches it together onto the weather stripping. And this ends up with like a gap about like that at the bottom. And if we put this in place, we can see the it kind of wants to sit inside that lip, right? And pinch flat. And so that lip, if I don't cut that whole this whole big lip out it's the window itself is not going to go in because it's pretty flush against this so i don't really need a template i can use this as a guide and just kind of go right up against this little right here and take this whole raised section out and then that glass should just go into place slip in we'll get a little coat of paint on it so it doesn't uh rust we'd hate to have the van start rusting on us right what your hat fell off a couple spots i didn't get all the way through but it gives a good generalization of where the cut would be from the outside and then I can use the outside here to kind of try to do this curve without making it too messy. So going from the outside you can take just the skin off because you're, you're not like welded right there. So I'll make this last little cut and then I'll have access from this side to more easily get this little lip out and then we'll test fit the window before we paint that surface. I'll, we'll do the other one in a second. We'll, you know, make sure this one works. So it's out. It's dirty. <laughs> it's like I'm not good at this stuff, but it doesn't matter because I mean, you guys have seen this thing. And I want to see if the glass will just go in and I can clean these edges up a little bit if it does. should go in and should pinch down pretty easy and I, like there's a little bit of an edge here that I'd like to take down but I think I can just whack it with a hammer and make it flat and then just get some paint on all these nasty edges and clean up any of the, the burrs and stuff. There we go. So I knocked some edges down. Three coats of self-etching primer. I don't need to mask anything because I just don't care. It's great. This is the best. So oops, a little piece sticking out. This is how you get lacerated. What? You want a pink truck now? We're drawing trucks. Oh, that's pretty bright pink. Let's make a truck. Yeah, I was thinking about kind of like this hack job look that they 
like cut off wheel made and so you know was, I can't be the only person that's put windows in a van right so jump on the old internet and the guy used to, those fucking things jigsaw <laughs> so I'm gonna try that I mean this one because it's two layers it's a little thicker but we'll see how it goes it might make the corners better I don't know we'll it's certainly it'll, it'll have a lot better edge and the doors I don't really care too much about because they're beat anyway but that one I want to make sure that's at least kind of nice all right so I started <clears throat> got a pilot hole for the blade to go in I'm just gonna bring it in kind of at an angle and get it so it drops into right there so this flat part so the little lip goes away that should be good This one's mostly better. I got frustrated with the uh, inadequate length of my blade, and uh, that won't be a problem on that one because it doesn't have the double, like that big lip that sticks out. So I'm still gonna get a new blade. Actually, I have a nice jigsaw, not that pile of crap. Uh, we use like a quick release style, so I got it home and none of my blades worked in it, and it's been sitting for months. Either way, I, my compromise was to use the like, angle grinder on the straight. It's got a little wild over here, but I found if I really just commit with a fresh disc uh, and do the whole length, it cut nice, and then I just did the corners with the jigsaw, and they turned out, um, well, great for this van. <laughs> Good thing I don't do this for a living. Uh, so yeah, I'll get three coats of primer on that, and then while it dries for a few hours, start putting this side in. Here's the seal that was on the old van for reference. They had it stuck to this side. You can see it just sits kind of flat and there's a lip that like digs in. So I thought this wasn't centered or something goofy, but if you look, I'll show on the window where that's actually the shape of it. So there's nothing weird going on in this stuff. Uh, yeah, it's maybe an eighth, a little over an eighth of an inch thick. And it's been compressed for a while, so maybe it started out bigger. Here, you can see how that edge comes down. It doesn't follow the same radius as the glass. So, I don't know if that's intended or not. And then I bought this stuff at Home Depot. It's just this camper seal for truck cap beds. Here, that should work. It's about the same thickness. It's closed cell, but quite a bit wider, so I have more wiggle room. And I don't think it's too wide, because, well, let's find out. We cut our piece off. Right, it's borderline too wide. If it like fit perfectly, you know, it wouldn't be too wide, but it's not going to feel like that because this part has to be able to go through. Realistically, it's going to be like out here, right? And that outside edge is all that needs to touch it. So I think the answer is we don't want it sticking way out of the glass, right? So if we did, if we just put it like this, that glass will be there and be able to see it. So I think we'll probably want it in about that far. And then I don't see any reason not to just like curl it around the edge like that. Maybe that'll help keep, I don't know. It's probably gonna rust in like a year anyway. That's what happens with everything that I own. That's why I bought a car made out of aluminum. So, uh, yeah, I need to put that glass up in here and kind of look at how far out the edge of the is like how much gap there will be there's not much they don't they'll look almost flush and then i'll just do the tape do this inside a little bit and i'll just wrap it around and it'll be part of the of when it pinches i think that's fine now it might make it quieter too because we won't have metal on metal on the back if it wiggles at all all right that's where i drop in the driveway yeah so it's like half the width of my pinky finger going around that edge so, I want to look them up. It's got a dot. Okay, found a thread on Sprinter Source from 2008. Um, guy wondering if anyone has creation windows in stock because they were bought out and they're closing down he went to the factory trying to get leftovers they only had two so those aren't factory windows those are aftermarket so maybe i thought this van had oh we won't be able to see the floor i thought for sure it had the seat 
mounts in it and it was a passenger model but it's not so if these big boys in the back are i mean they have the same frame right yeah creation windows so those are coming out they're not going to fit my van but it could make somebody's day to just have some glass to put in for cheap you know and then i can buy some more beer so yeah we'll have to crawl in here over the mess and get those bad boys out a whole bunch of screws and this one i already started tweaking on but uh, yeah, good deal. All right. Hmm. Maybe I should save the front glass too so when hooligans attack my van and try to rob me, I can replace it. All right. So I put that foam in place, wrapped it around. I kept trying to peel back off, but the more I go around, I just keep pinching it. Uh, it's staying now, so I'm not worried about it getting pinched funny or like falling down. I think it'll do its job. Just gotta figure out how to put this thing in. I might have to go make the wife help out or something. But right, so set it in place. Had the wife get a little hand pressure here so that it wouldn't tip out on me and I could reach stuff. And then just did that one, this one, this one. Pinched it down a little bit, not real tight, and kind of looked at it. It was a little low here, it wasn't really centered and kind of twisted. So loosened the screws up, but not enough for the frame to come off, just enough so that we could kind of slide it over the top of the foam a little bit. Just pushed into the spot where it looked good. And now I'm just gonna zip the rest of the screws in nice and tight. And I do like that I curled that foam over and it's pinched on both sides. I think that'll that's the way to do it. Um, and I don't care if it sticks out. I'm not even gonna have trim in here for a long time, but put the rest of those in and see how it looks clamped. Because it really does, it pulls it in on that foam and it gets flush. Yep, all the screws are in. We got a door with a window in it now. Not bad. It's got a pretty good tint to it. I can see my bike in there, but I'm not. The places I go, I'm not worried about anyone trying to break into it. So I don't care if creepers want to come and look and see what I'm up to. Right, now I'll have to get that other one in and then start thinking about the big one over there and that one i think i can use the jigsaw for on the whole thing so it has a really nice cutout and at the same time i could probably make them a little tighter because if we look this one i can copy this band right because it it fit it went in it was a little tight getting in and out but if i peek around back you can see there's the two lips they're about eh, a little less than a pinky fingernail it's worth well actually See where that curve is on that? If mine's got the same thing. Yeah, so this little oval. So yeah, right there on the top of that oval. So really they're right at that edge from the outside. Let's go around. Yeah, so they're going right here. And that should work. So I wonder if I kept these openings a little big. I may have. Well, no, because I had that weird lip on the inside. So maybe I could have, should have taken that lip out separately. Well, no, this is right along the inside edge. So this is this is right. They just seem like they got a little more slop to them than, than that side window's gonna. But I can just use that as a guide, right? It's just right where this interface is. So just come right along that where my fingernail's hitting it all the way around. Easy peasy. Yep, here we go from the inside. So, the frames are a little beat up because who knows how many times they've been in and out of people's cars, but yeah, I like windows. So just finished this one up, super happy with it. They're dark enough that people don't, can't really see in, but they worked out pretty good.